Hi, this is Michael Kennedy from Developmentor, and welcome to the third in my mini part series of Python for the C Sharp developer. And this one's going to be a really quick and short one, but I think valuable as well. So, one of the things in .NET that really makes it special and easy to work with, um, as compared to languages like C or C++ or things like that, is that everything derives from system.object. Everything is an object. So at some level, we can always treat everything basically as a fundamental type and pass it around, have like um, you know, a list of objects and common collections and all those sorts of things. So let's switch over to Visual Studio really quick and just, you know, here we have a class program and we could say that this derives from object or we could just not say it. It doesn't matter. Regardless of whether or not we have that, that uh, explicit derivation there, it still always is an object. So let's make an instance of our program object. So we can say program p equals new program. And then we could um, write out, you know, p is object. And so this is sort of the nice way to ask, does p derive from object? And if we run this, we should see true. Yes, true, of course it does. Because you can even see ReSharper is giving us kind of this warning, like this is always true. Why are we doing this? And we could say object o equals p as well. Um, print that out. Right, we'll see that that runs, and we could say console right line o dot two string, something like that. Okay, so here you can see it just prints out the type. True, yes, it is an object, and here's the type. All right, so this is really valuable in C sharp because it lets us sort of have some common base functionality, common container types, those types of things. Now let's switch over to Python. Here we are in PyCharm, and I have this uh, script called All Objects. And if we go over here, we can create a class. We had that one called program over there. So let's just uh, create one here. And we could just say uh, def main, just the same way we had one there. And what do we want to do? Well, we could explicitly say, just like in C Sharp, we could say object here. This is how you say inheritance in Python. But again, just like we have with uh, C Sharp, this is optional. We don't have to say this. So I can come down here and I could say something like print um, is instance. This is sort of the is equivalent. Self is the program. Uh, first we want to, yeah, self, and we want to ask is it an object? Is it an instance of an object? Okay, so if we go down here and run this, p equals program p.main, and we run this, and see, just like before, yes, it is an object. Everything is an object. If we go down here and we say, you know, duplicate this line, and we say, well, what if the number four, is that an object? Run that again. Yes, four is also an object. So just like C Sharp, everything is an object. This gives us some base functionality, although it's not quite as structured as C Sharp, but uh, very nice that we can rely on this common base type. Just like we can in C Sharp, we can do the same thing in Python. All right, so that's it for this session. Uh, come back uh, for number four, which will be coming out very soon. Thanks, bye.